can't tell you how excited I am about this new book by Zig Ziglar, capturing a lifetime of success tips, what it takes to be a winner. Oh boy, I can't wait for that book when it comes out. I've been a Zig Ziglar fan really most of my adult life. I've heard him speak on numbers of occasions and always get an enormous lift uh, from his messages. Love that voice, that deep southern draw, that's a big part of it. But everything he says just makes sense and he has the ability and has always had the ability to present life truths and spiritual truths and success secrets in such a clear, direct fashion. That's why he's Zig Ziglar. That's why he's the motivator. That's why we all look up to him and everybody who speaks and writes dreams of that day when they can be just like Zig. Uh, my favorite Zig Ziglar memory, uh, a few years ago I was invited to speak at Prestonwood Baptist Church in Texas at their big business luncheon. Boy, they rolled out about 600 people for that luncheon and I, I was the featured speaker. So I flew in that morning and they picked me up at the airport and I came into the uh, lunch area and saw that huge crowd and and uh, then I looked down as I was just about ready to speak and sitting in the front row at that front table, guess who was there? Zig Ziglar. You talk about intimidation. The greatest motivational speaker of all time. There he was sitting in the front row as I was being introduced, getting ready to share a message with the uh, lunch crowd that day at Prestonwood. I never will forget it. You talk about pressure, but uh, I think I got the job done. And Zig came up afterwards, gave me a big hug, and congratulated me and said, you did a great job. And I still remember those words of encouragement.